respond. I just want to also quickly remind you that uh, Pawan Khera, in the interest viewers of full disclosure, came out and said that uh, he was genuinely confused about the middle name. Now, first of all, do you accept this, Tehseen Punawala, this uh, sort of attempt at trying to suggest that uh, he was mistaken, he was genuinely confused when he actually said, is the middle name Gautam Das or Damodar Das? Might be Damodar Das, but acts like Gautam Das. So quite clearly, he could have at that point said, look, I've got it wrong, sorry about that, but yes, I will address him as such and such. So can you accept that at face value? And yes. secondly, the BJP says that uh, you have basically run out of ideas to attack the prime minister, to take him on, to counter the BJP. So you're going to defame all the way up till 2024. All right. So yes, uh, Pavan was genuinely uh, confused. And perhaps he could have avoided the tongue in cheek, but it was not an insult. He didn't say it in a humiliating manner, but he at least has the grace to even now speak and apologize and say, look, it was a genuine slip of time. The most honorable prime minister called Mrs. Gandhi, the wife of a, of a, of a martyred prime minister, Josie Kao, the most honorable prime minister. He's never apologized for that. He called Rahul Gandhi ji Italian bachra. He's never apologized for that. In September 2002, the first person to use the word Motka Saudagar saw Times of India. No, it's not the Congress, but was the most honorable chief minister of Gujarat, now prime minister, Mr. Narendra Modi ji. He spoke about Mrs. Gandhi and in Rajasthan said, Congress ki vidwa ki tarah ro rahi thi. Congress ki vidwa ki tarah. A widow whose husband is martyred for our country. And what is the argument? The argument that the Prime Minister makes in Parliament is to on, ask on specific questions is, why is your surname not Nehru? Is that the language of the Prime Minister? Pavan made a mistake, he's apologized, he comes on board, he says, look, it was a slip of tongue. You can forgive him or not forgive him. Has the Prime Minister even once decided to offer an apology for the language he's used? All of this is yeah, language used by the Prime Minister. In West Bengal, he was going about saying, Didi or Didi. Was that how a Prime Minister should function? I leave this question to your viewers. I have a lot of respect for the Prime Minister. But when the Prime Minister does that and crosses the limit, then don't play victim. But yet, Pavan apologized. Okay. I want to come in there. I made a very quick point in right earnest that none of Modi's parents were in politics. If you're in politics, you will have to take the heat as well. Now, Sonia Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi and their minions have called the Prime Minister Motka Saudagar and worse. So let's not get into who said what. The simple point is, why would you drag the Prime Minister's father, or for that matter, mother, who have nothing to do with politics? They have not been former Prime Ministers. Their public Quick uh, response. office They're seen term Punala. is not Nothing to do question. with politics, yet you're dragging them Nehru, through the mud. Gandhi, Sonia, so, Rajiv are all questionable because they are in public life. They've impacted so, India's destiny in some way or so, the other. And in most so cases, adversely. So the BJP's argument is, even if you're a martyr for the country, because in politics you can be called Vidwaki Tara Ro Reiti, Jersey Cow, Italian Bachra. But Rehan Badra is not in politics. He's a youngster, a teenager. His surname is Vadra. But because a fake article came up which the Congress objected to and they apologized, you continue to make up a story that he's Rehan Gandhi. I mean, he's Are not he? in politics. Why doesn't the same he logic said, apply for Rehan? He said Why Rehan not... Rajiv Gandhi. Is he ashamed no, of Rajiv Rehan. Gandhi now? I mean, if, if there's anyone who knows a little now? bit, I do, sir. And he's not. He's Rayan Vadra. But he's anyway, that was a fake Gandhi. article. I but know that. that. Why is that You're fair game? Why is that fair game to drag a teenager into the Gandhi's sir? is quite well known. So obviously, your arguments but will I don't know where logical. your source is coming from. I can tell you where mine is coming from. But why is it fair game to drag a teenager who's not in politics? Again, the BJP will continue to do exactly so what are you saying, are you the saying Rehan, talk about. Are you saying Rehan, Priyanka Vadra's son, does not accompany them to rallies and roadshows? I have seen the family, the two children in roadshows that happened in Banaras, for example. What politics? What else is politics? If he's so, not in so politics, just because then what is he doing in a political roadshow of his parents? Office, uh, so, mama, office, so as mother. for the BJP, to so as for the BJP, you can insult a Marti or Prime Minister. You can call somebody but with you, answer, Rehan, you can drag somebody's kids because they go with their parents. Bus, I, I leave it Gandhi to your audience travel, to judge. Even, even your senior prabharis of Uttar Pradesh were taken off. I remember uh, Jyotiraditya Sindhya at that time was the prabhari of Western UP, and he was not allowed on that truck or the truck 
only the Gandhis were on it and so was Rehan Rajiv Gandhi. So how so, can you say that so the female leader is not in politics? So can, okay. He's getting ready to be the next so generation we can call of the people Gandhi. Jersey so that was well, the dynamic. Viewers, no, hang on, let me just step in because I'm running out of time here. Viewers, look, at the end of the day, our politics and the lexicon that politicians borrow from is really atrocious. Someone needs to rise above this. Someone needs to be the statesperson now. We can't have invective like this, and it's only going to get worse as we get closer to the elections. I don't even know where we are going to end up. Fathers, sisters, people who are not in politics will all get dragged through the mud. That's not the way, because it will serve as a massive disincentive to any do-gooder who wants to join politics. He said this is not worth the price to pay. We always think about that. It's a disservice, massive one, and two wrongs cannot make a right. Someone needs to take the high road.